Ali, Superman 123, and this one debuts the new Superman design. A great redesign to embody this new electric power set and direction. A fantastic cover by Ron French. It has been on one of my covers videos. Uh, this issue, it has another cover and it glows in the dark. Uh, the outline of Superman and the logo, they glow in the dark. And them outlines, they feel really, really nice. But I prefer this one. I think it is a more impactful image. This issue is by Stan Jurgensen and Ron French. And if you are curious, DC did a trade paperback of this story and then never released volume two. This issue finally tackles one of my criticisms head on. And that is that Superman, he has been kind of resting on his laurels rather than bothering to have his new powers and his altered physiology inspected by science tests. We also continue Superman's fight with Tusk. Tusk is a native from the shrunken city of Xandar. He has shown up in the metro center and he is having a needless fight with Superman. And the whole fight, it spills hour from the last issue and Tusk he highlights some of it that I'm going to talk about. But there is another character in a few pages that also highlights the same thing. So you're going to have to wait for her to show up for me to actually talk about it. The fight in here, it is fun and it is well done. It's not ganning for anything more than a big action piece. And giving us more of a glimpse at Electric Superman. To get back to my other point though. My big assertion is that it is incredibly irresponsible of Superman to not gan and have his changes looked into. I understand that maybe he thought the first time it happened was maybe just random. Like it was a random fluke that makes no sense. But for several issues now, we have seen in enormous fashion how radically different Superman's powers have become. And yet he keeps fighting against peoples like Tuskia and Blazing Skull in that other story. And I get that in fighting baddies, it's meant to be like his responsibility. He won't let these bad guys just gun around unchallenged. That is like his main priority, to stop them. But it's also hypocritical of him because his responsibility doesn't seem to apply to himself. We've seen he has caused a citywide blackout and several other power cuts. And he's still fighting Tusk, even though, for all he knows, he could accidentally date a big electrical explosion and it could like cover the entire planet and cause all the computers to fail and all the nuclear bombs and stuff like that that gone off. Naughty Superman, bad Superman. With new powers comes new responsibilities. That is my saying, I invented that. They should add it to the comics or something. Then we get a Lenny Lufas and we get to see his reaction to this apparent change in Superman. And then we have Lenny Lufas' wife, Nessa. And she, like Tusk, is a character they introduced in this period. They introduced a lot of new characters. But after Range of the Supermans, it seemed like for whatever reason... Subsequent writers just didn't care. Tusk, he never appeared again after these creative teams are done. Lenny Lufus's wife, who is a fine idea, there's a lot of potential in her. She was killed off panel in the next run. 
then there's Alpha 5 from Zero Hours, uh, Mrs. Superman, Electrical Supergirl. Like the list of characters they introduced is very long and all of them end up either never appearing again or being killed off by the next writers. Even to some degree, Maximo ends up like that too. So Superman, he finally gans to have some experiments done on his new electrical form and he needs a containment suit because he is all made up of the electricalness now and if the didn't contain all the energy, he'll like dissipate and he'll cease to have a form. But they cannot make a suit in time. And then Lenny Lufus's wife, she shows up and offers the exact sort of suit that Superman needs. This is Lenny Lufus. He has made it as all part of some long game con to have Superman OM1. Uh, then we have Tusk stumbling around the Metro Center and he gives a fisherman an art attack. So they start getting Superman's new suit ready for him. The blue and white containment suit that he'll be wearing for a while. And look there, Superman, he's just like electric now. He's like a little electric storm coming out of his costume. And then he puts it on and it works and he can do stuff again. But the suit, it's not quite finished yet. Superman is able to control his electric powers better. And with this suit, he whizzes around the metro center as fast as lightning. And then he gans to visit the Marthas to show them his new duds. And because he wants them to see him put the iconic S emblem under his chest, the one that stands for ORP and also stands for the letter S. And here is two pages of Superman in his all new, all different design. I do really like this look. I think it is a neat little alteration for Superman. Obviously, it doesn't top the classic Superman look we all know. Nothing ever can really. But it is a fun variant design. It's kind of like how Spider-Man has the black costume. And that is good, but it'll never top the main design. Well, I think this is kind of a similar thing. And Superman, he is saying, there is an all new Superman in town. Not really. It's the same Superman, but with some significant changes. You should be saying, there is the same odd Superman in town, but now he is electric. And Tusk, he takes that fisherman to hospital, and the next issue promises Metallica. We got the letters here, and believe it or not, they are still writing in Raven about Superman finally getting married to Lewis. Every issue I have done of Electric Superman... All the letters have been about the marriage. We have gotten through like five or six parts of it. And they're still writing in to say that it is great that Superman tied the knot. I will be honest. I think the cover for this issue is a lot better than the actual issue. I didn't think the story is bad or that anything inside is rotten. It is just like you read it and you're gone. Yeah, that is about what I expected from this one. I didn't think it is bad, but unless you are reading all of this storyline, I wouldn't really point this out as one to read by itself. I'm still happy to give it seven thumbs up, though. 